Hello. With this video, we're going to have a couple stories talking about names of teams and how they've played the role in their history. And uh, But first, we're going to talk about Reggie Jackson a little bit. Reggie Jackson had 2,597 strikeouts and 563 career home runs. So, if you average that out to about 500 at-bats a season, that would mean he'd have five years where he struck out every at-bat and one year where he had home runs. So it's basically six years of batting where all he had to do was swing a bat and he didn't really have to make any effort on the bases. In 1909, Horace Fogel, who perpetrated himself as the owner of the Philadelphia Phillies, decided that uh, they should have a name change, thinking that the Phillies wasn't exciting enough. So he proposed that they change the name to the Live Wires, because that would be more exciting. Uh, other than a few stories mentioning him as the Live Wires, most people just flat out ignored it. The press, the fans, even the team really didn't care about it and they just went back to calling themselves the Phillies. Uh, there's a, a few other interesting stories we've got about uh, his tenure as the owner of the Phillies. Uh, I plan to do a video on some of the uh, more colorful or worst owners of all time, so uh, when I get that you'll be able to follow that. I'm sure I'll put a link up here at that time when I get it done. Does a team's name actually have anything to do with how well a team does? Um, or does public sentiment have any kind of outside influence or whatever? Well. We're going to look at a couple teams in Major League Baseball. We're going to look at the uh, Cleveland Indians and the Braves, uh, who went from Boston to Milwaukee to uh, now present-day Atlanta. Um, we, a couple years ago, the Washington, Sen Washington Redskins sorry, lost their right to, having, to trademarking their name because you can't trademark something that's racist. And it was determined that the Redskins was uh, racist enough, I guess, that, uh, that they were able to lose their trademark. So anyway, um, the Indians and the Braves have gotten a fair bit of flack over the last few decades. Um, well, probably a bit longer than that. But we're going to give a little history about the effect that the team name might have had on whether they win the World Series or not. Okay, as to whether the, the team's names, the Indians or the Braves, are considered racist or should be outdated or whatever, I'd love to hear your comments uh, down below on that. Um, but getting back to uh, the two teams, the Indians and Braves, have combined to win five World Series in, in uh, Major League history. In 1914, the then Boston Braves beat the then Philadelphia Athletics. Uh, and in 1920, you had the Cleveland Indians topping the Brooklyn Robins, who went on to become the Dodgers. So the way I look at that, those two, two World Series were before political correctness, and everybody was kicking up such a big stink about these team names, so we're going to discount those. Uh, so then next we get, uh, next, that leaves us with three World Series, and two of them are pretty interesting, in that in 1948, the Cleveland Indians beat the Boston Braves to win the World Series. And in 1995, the uh, Atlanta Braves ended up beating the um, Cleveland Indians to win the World Series. So they were playing against each other. So somebody had to win the World Series. So we'll negate those. So that leaves 1957 when the Milwaukee Braves beat the New York Yankees as the only time that the two teams weren't facing off each other. Uh, and we were kind of more into an era that where political correctness or I guess people were more concerned about representation of the name Brave or Indian as being possibly derogatory. Uh, so we've got just one case of that. Uh, so I'd like to know your opinion. Are, are those teams, are those team names acceptable now? Uh, how do you feel about them? Do you just see them as being like a generic name and having nothing to do with uh, Native Americans at all? Uh, or are you someone that really believes that, like, no, of course, this is, this is wrong, it should change, we're, we're now into the year 2015, like, let's, let's get some politically correct names in there. Uh, anyway, uh, that would be great, leave comments below. If you want to check out more videos, we've got our previous and we've got our next, and of course subscribe in here to get things as they come out. I'm going to do more than just the trivia stuff, but at this point this is what we're doing. Uh, as always, I'd love to hear your comments down below on anything. If you have any questions, I'd love to hear them. Uh, also in the description, uh, I'm going to try to keep track of all these books that I've been reading that, uh, where I've gotten this information, just in case you want to check them out, because some of them are pretty fun books. Anyway, see you next time.